really quick one thing I noticed is, is that they didn't come in a box they came in this zipper bag which is actually not a bad bag uh, it does seem to have a hole in it so it's not like um, I don't know it might not be a bag that you could reuse um, and count on it to be waterproof but as far as a shoe bag to just you know put these in here to protect them keep them from getting dirty and then you can throw them into your golf bag or in the back of your car or whatever. That'd be a great bag to protect it. It's actually pretty thick. Uh, and again, it's got the zipper on it. So, you know, that's great. All right, so the first thing I'm going to look at on here is going to be the insole. You can see it says Thestron inside. It's got the little logo. And then it's pretty basic. So it's not super thick. But I can tell you this much. Just kind of squeezing it a little bit. That's got some padding to it. It's almost like a uh, a responsive type foam. I mean, you don't have to push very hard on it. It's really soft. It's kind of got this honeycomb pattern to it. So I'm guessing that's going to be really comfortable. Uh, but again, not super thick. Doesn't look like it has a ton of arch support in it. Uh, but, you know, a lot of shoes today don't. You have to buy aftermarket inner soles to make your shoes a little bit more arch friendly. Since these didn't come in a box, I noticed this right away. The toe is probably gonna have to sit out for a little while. <laughs> it's kind of smashed a little bit, I guess, from uh, just being in the truck and getting shipped halfway across the world. Um, but just the overall outside quality of this shoe, looking in here, I'm trying to find like Places where water could get in, of course, they could get in through these eyelets. They could get in right here where the tongue meets the main body of the shoe. But the entire outside of this shoe looks to be waterproof, and they claim it to be waterproof. They actually show the video where they're pouring water over the shoe uh, to show you that, hey, no water's getting in. So the fact that these are waterproof uh, and they're super lightweight, I mean, these weigh literally nothing. Uh, I can't, I'll have to look up the weight. I'll put that up on the screen, but they are really lightweight and extremely flexible. As you can see, they bend really easy and then they kind of pop back. Um, so to be that lightweight, that flexible, have a decent inner sole and be completely waterproof on the outside, uh, for just a little over 40 bucks, man, that's a great deal. Now, the name Thestron got me thinking about the shoes Athlons that I've seen on several channels and that I've seen also on Amazon. Here they are. You can see their great construction. They look nice. But here along the toe, upon further examination, I see water could get in there. And the price is about $160 a pair. That's almost four times the cost of these shoes. Here's some of the claims that they make. The top increases your power by 9% or more. Uh, it's a golf shoe. I'm not so sure. They go on to explain here in this screenshot on that same page about how some of this technology in the shoe can add to your distance. Here's the specs for these shoes. You can see they're lightweight, unisex. All in all, I would say this is probably a great shoe. It's just a higher price point and it's pretty standard for the industry. Here's the groove patterns. They look pretty similar to me. I do see some rotational grooves in the bottom of the Athlons, but again, I don't know that it's going to make that big of a difference. Now, one thing about Thestron that uh, I didn't like was that they have two kinds of shoes, this style and another style. In this style, they offer the size 13 that I normally wear in a shoe, but in the other style, they only offer up to, I think, a size 11, so it's tough for me to find the size shoes that I need. But putting these shoes on, wearing them around a little bit, just feeling how they are on the bottom of my feet, how they flex, how they bend, how they feel, how lightweight they are, all of that. I think these are going to be a terrific pair of shoes and I would highly recommend picking up a pair.
Anyway, I hope you don't think I'm bagging on Athlon shoes. I've got nothing against them. I've never had a pair of them. I'm sure they're terrific shoes. I've owned Adidas. I've owned Nike. I've owned lots of different golf shoes. I'm not trying to say anything bad about those brands, those companies, those shoes. But what I am saying is that you don't have to break the bank and spend a ton of money on golf, especially golf gear. I never do. For $40 these shoes are killer. I do my research on Amazon. I check things out for a week or two before I actually make purchases. I look at reviews. I cross check them on Google. I go to find them on other websites and see what prices they are there. I do all kinds of research on shirts, pants, shorts, shoes, everything on Amazon. I always check them out. You have to be careful when buying things online, especially when you're dealing with some unknown brand name. So do your homework. What sort of things are you curious about on Amazon that maybe you haven't tried, or maybe you have tried some of them and you had a good experience or a bad experience? Leave me some comments down below and let me know. Again, thanks for watching. Share this around. Help your friends out. Help them save some money. And I'll see you next time.